All right, uh, so we've talked about getting ready for certification. Uh, now let's assume that uh, uh, we're, we're, uh, we're ready to go. We think we're ready to send everything off to Scribe for certification. And so we're going to talk about uh, the deployment process. Uh, once you think you've done with your code, uh, uh, we're going to uh, talk about sending your connector to Scribe software, uh, deploying your connector to your customers, and uh, how do we deal with upgrades later on. Uh, so, uh, sending your connector to Scribe, uh, you'll most likely be working with uh, the ISV enablement team, uh, which will include uh, your account representative uh, and, uh, and a technical resource, quite possibly myself. Um, and you'll be asked to send the required information to us. So we talked about uh, the zip files, the file manifest, an icon, help uh, URI, and a master organization ID. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Um, uh, once you send all that information in the source code, et cetera, uh, there may be a couple of back and forth sessions uh, with some suggested tweaks. Uh, you know, maybe we found something that might look a little bit better if you did it this way, et cetera. And uh, 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 when that process is complete, uh, we call it certified, and we will load uh, your connector uh, bits to the cloud. Um, so. Uh, we did talk about the required files, the source files, and the, the, uh, the, the build files, and the icon, and the help URI, etc. Um, but one thing that uh, is required for your connector is that there's a master organization. And when your organization becomes a master, you, um, you have this ability with these extra couple of tabs to determine who's using your uh, connector and, um, and whether or not that connector is completely visible in the cloud. Um, so this is my organization, and if I go up to the upper right-hand side and I drop it down, I can choose to edit my organization, and what I have is my organization ID. This organization ID is what is going to be your master. So uh, most likely during your development process, you have a, a free trial or you have an NFR that you've been using uh, to, to work against that. And so what we'll do is we'll take that free trial or NFR account uh, uh, organization ID and we'll turn that into a master org for connector deployment. Okay, so that is our marketplace. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, deploying to your customers. Uh, once we uh, enable that master organization and we put the uh, the uh, the connector up there, uh, you will have to go into your master organization and determine whether or not you want that uh, connector to be visible to the world or whether you want uh, uh, to have uh, more finite control over who gets to use your connector. Um, so you can enable it for the marketplace, uh, you can add customers uh, to the org organization allowed list, um, or uh, if you don't actually deploy in our cloud, you can take that directory uh, right off of your uh, development machine and you can manually send it to each one of your customers. Uh, now that's, a, that's a, a deployment method we don't recommend um, because you don't have control um, over updates and upgrades and who's using what. They can take that and move that around. Uh, so uh, let's take a look back at our master organization. Here's our master organization uh, the master organization has a sample connector included in it. Um, this is a sample connector. If I drill into it, I have this option to show it in the marketplace. And if I do that, that connector will show up in the list of uh, available uh, connectors for anyone to download. Um, so uh, that's uh, an option that we'll ask you to turn on uh, when you're ready. Um, alternatively, uh, instead of turning it on in there, um, uh, you have a list here of customers who have downloaded and used your connector. Uh, this list will populate as, you, as, they, as they do that, so this will populate automatically. Alternatively, you can hit the new button here and have your customer give you their organization ID. And their organization ID, uh, you can then enable one or more connectors. You can have more than one connector assigned to your organization. So if you get into the habit of building multiple connectors, you can say organization XYZ uh, you know, has access to this connector. Um, so um, that's how you can do that. And uh, if a customer stops paying you, you can come in here and you can remove them from the allowed list for using that connector. Okay, let's go back over here. 
So that's our deployment process. Like I said, you deploy through the cloud, you have that option to, to get a visibility into everybody who's using your connector. Uh, Upgrades. This is a, a, a big issue uh, or a big question that comes up after deployment. Uh, most folks don't ask about this until after we're actually live in the cloud. Uh, well, well, wait a minute. How about, how about uh, bug fixes, etc.? Well, it's a similar process, but it's much easier. It's going to be a much faster timeline. Uh, we've already seen uh, your base connector code. We've certified it as uh, 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 non-malicious to our environment. Um, we understand that, uh, you know, your coders are are uh, uh, proficient in creating connectors for Scribe, so uh, we really don't have to do uh, a major code review this time around. Uh, so we will ask you to fix the issues or upgrade the issues and features within your code, increment the version number, we've already discussed that, uh, and then send all of the same required files to Scribe. Um, uh, ideally, that'll be two zip files, one with source code, one with the files and the logos. Um, once we put those up in the cloud, uh, the updates will filter down automatically uh, and your customers will be working on the new code. They'll have access to the new entities and features, et cetera, that you've included. Um, again, the alternative is the, uh, 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 the slow method of actually sending the new files to your customers and having them manually insert those files into their, into their directories. Again, up to you. So, um, uh, we, like I said, we recommend that you put those things into the Scribe Cloud and get certified. Um, so, that's it. We've discussed sending your stuff to Scribe, deploying, and upgrades. So hopefully, we've, uh, we've gone through a lot of good material and, uh, and good luck in developing your connector.